name is Walter Siebert. Today I'm talking about discard criteria of harnesses. That means when do I have to retire them? If you look into the manual, then I read here it has to be retired after 10 years. Or here, another supplier, it has to be retired after six years. So the same material, the same construction, the same standard. One says 10 years, one says six years. I wanted to know when to retire this equipment according to scientific research. As I stated before, I could not find any evidence that with ropes time is a discard criterion. Now let's look on harnesses, if this is also here the case. There is a big difference in the construction of a harness and a rope. A rope has a protection sheath and the harness has the bearing, the load bearing fibers on the outside. This is a big difference. And ropes have knots, harnesses have stitches. So here is our protection sheath. If this sheath is damaged, then you see very clear that the load bearing fibers are still working. Harnesses do not have this protection, so a damage here is directly in the load bearing fibers. The termination of ropes is done with knots and you can see very clear whether this is done properly or not. With harnesses the termination is done by a sewing machine and so you have to trust the person sitting on the machine and those stitches can be damaged by abrasion easily. So I changed my clothes because we are going back to the 1980s. I have here a harness from the year 1982, so it's 35 years old. This is not very used, only a little bit. I have here other harnesses from the same time, heavily used, and now we are gonna test them. So we are going to my laboratory. Here is the dummy. Now I have here an old sitting harness from the same time, like this harness, and now chest harness to this dummy. Now let's go climbing and let's take a heavy heavy fall until everything is destroyed. And the rope was breaking. 
When the force reached 10 kilonewton, that means one ton, the rope broke. So the harness was stronger than this old rope. Okay, we take a stronger connection. So we take a climbing rope in a loop with the fisherman's knot. So at 20 kilonewton, that means two tons, again the rope failed. So we will make a third test. So as you can see, some of the sewing failed already. Okay, now we take only the sit harness. 100 kilos, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this sit harness held 14 kilonewton. This is much more than your body would hold. So sometimes it's not easy to know the age of the harness. Maybe one of my viewers knows the age of this harness. Minimum 20 years old harness. Thousand, thousand, two hundred, three hundred. Now I have a message. Dear engineers who constructed and designed these harnesses, you can be really proud of your work. Maybe you are retired personally, but there is no need to retire your products. They last longer than 35 years when they are certified. Here I have some harnesses, the results. This harness, for example, is here at 35 years and minimum 20 kilonewton. The other harness, minimum 20 years and was about here. So as you can see, there is no clear sign that it gets weaker when age comes in. Now let's look at the weakest harnesses. This one with eight kilonewton, a buckle broke, a metal buckle broke. So this was a production mistake and production fail. Uh, and these were heavily worn harnesses. Maybe you have heard about the well-known climber Todd Skinner who fell to his death because his harness broke. And you must know that this was so heavily worn out that a friend of him asked him, with this harness you're climbing Todd? And he said, yeah, I know. I have my new one at home in a package. But he used his old one and he fell to his death. So this leads to the discard criteria. Please retire your harness. If it's worn, so heavily used, if the stitches, the sewing is damaged, of course 
if gets into contact with battery acid or other chemical substances and please do not expose your harness for a long time for a year or something into the direct sun and the good news age is no criteria but it must have a label CE or in the states ANSI or UIAA don't use unlabeled harnesses.